Hello everybody and welcome back to Pokemon White Nuzlocke. In the last one we did the we went through the gym leader and we fucking won. No deaths. No yep, no deaths. <laughs> I can't believe we beat the Watchog. I thought that was gonna be the most difficult part, and that is being the easiest for some reason. So now Team Plasma just stole a skull for the museum, so now we're gonna go after them. See what the big fuss is about. Alright, my fucking game lags in this area. Well, you see, there are two ways out of Pinwheel Forest. The road that goes straight and the path that winds through the woods. I'll take the straight road after them. If they're not there, I'll block the exit. Could you please take the other way and check whether Team Plasma is hiding in there? Um, You'll run into a lot of trains, but it's basically a single path, so I'm sure you won't get lost. Alright, let's do this for Nora's sake. Don't fucking call me Zoro, because I will get lost immediately. I want to know when all my fucking children are going to evolve. I sh oh, that's what I forgot to do before recording. Shit, sorry. TikTok. <laughs> uh, we discussed what to do before a battle. Castelia City Gym. What is my level cap? In the games, please. Thank you. Thank you. Two swaddles. Okay, in this version, level cap is 23. Why? <laughs> I don't know why they did that. Now that I uh, think about it, I don't know why they did that. Oh, we killed that fucking bug. I wish I could get an encounter in here. Oh, this whole area counts as Pinwheel Forest. Well, good thing he has sturdy. Damn, I haven't done a lot, boy! Yippee! Alright. Owen's a goat. Owen is so goddamn strong. I, I've I've done Nuzlocke before where I picked Owen and I've never ever got him past Pig Knight before he died, so I'm hoping I can get him to Ember. Let's see, we're gonna switch some party members around. Um, put Zoe in the front. And then we'll have Trent right here just in case we have another double battle. All right. Oh, look at that! There's Team Plaza right here at the entrance. What's up, bitch? Team- oh. You stubborn brat. When I'm through with you, you won't be able to chase us anymore. Why is this- do they only hire genders? Just, just a question. It seems like that that's literally it. Maybe I should put um front front now that I see the sand down in front of me. You can't intimidate something that cannot be intimidated, sir. Alright, air attack. Air cut it, sorry. Oh yeah, we fell for the, the torment. Oh shit, this don't pop. Look at that. Zoe's got it. Zoe is so good. Look at that. My girl 
right there. Come on, you're just a kid. A kid with an ego trip. And so what if I am? <laughs> Too bad, I don't got anything. If you want to get it back, you're going to have to look for my associates. Oh, fuck yourself. Alright, there's another one. My mind. Could you be looking for something? You know exactly what I'm looking for. I don't know why I keep trying to eat these cookies. They're real cold. <laughs> I have them in the freezer today. We're gonna expire soon. Oh, they're so- they're for my work. They're like caramel pecan cookies. I love the caramel face that they have on them. They're- they're absolutely busting. I get excited when I get to work early enough for them, like, when they're still paying them up and everything to bake, and I'm like, uh, can you, can you put another one? This one? <laughs> Sometimes they give me half a cookie. Alright, quick attack. Yay! Zoe doing good. Zoe gonna level up soon. Not level up, evolve soon. She needs to. We gotta get her prepped for the next gym. <laughs> Do I need to take a deal to carry such a heavy item? Alright, let's see. I patrol Pinwheel Forest every day. A battle here is a piece of cake. <laughs> that it is! Ranger Forest? <laughs> wow. Talk about a, a, a name perfect for your profession. <laughs> oh, he's got a dog. I do want to at some point play the Ranger games. They're real good. I mean, I have. I played uh, Guardian, like the, the Guardian signs, but I never played the, the other two. I played the, the earliest ones. I don't know how that happened. I just did. Alright. I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> I'm Zoe? I am so sorry. Um. Um. This thing should have pursued. Thank god. I think I would have cried if it did. Twenty for Zoe. Oh, he's a mistake to lose in the battle. In the Pinwheel Forest. Thousand dollars. I'm in the wrong profession. Oh, you're always so funny. I'll give it to you. Just a berry, thank you. Horse is alive. Something changes every day, so it's going to patrol. That's nice. Oh no. <laughs> oh. I wish I could catch you, but I can't. I'm just gonna switch to someone else because I don't feel confident that someone's going to run away. Like, be fast enough to run away, so. Thing. 
me if I didn't pick up a Pokemon from the outskirts, I could have, but. I like my temple, he's nice. Alright, let's run back to the nurse real quick. God, the game wants to lag so much during this area. Yes. Why is that game lagging so bad? It, it was doing this last time in Pokemon Black. Ah, shit. Yes. Alright. I don't know, maybe it's just like, maybe just the music's different or anything. Because I know it's fine after, I don't know. Just trying to make it up as I go. It looks like I'm playing with like negative speed right now. It's here. Super potion, nice, nice. Alright, this kid. My Pokemon's strong points. You'll see them if you fight. Alrighty, I guess. Nicholas? Okay. I remember a kid with that name. Finnipi. Damn, no be good right now. Air cutter. <laughs> There we go. That actually is a pretty good Pokemon. I believe it is. We did a little dancey dance and it died. <laughs> Alrighty! Hey, did you see my Pokemon strong points? Not really! <laughs> I see it used focus energy and then I killed it. <laughs> so, uh, sorry. Try again next time, loser. Ribiduchi. Shit. <laughs> Oh, it's a waddle. I want this one. I want to be surprised by it, but I want to just know when the fuck is really evolved. Is it is it 22? It's gonna be soon, because we got her at like level 7. I think. Was it level 7? It was so long ago. Antidote. What we're gonna need in this damn forest. Alright. Trainer. The great power is drawn by nature without opposing it. That is the strength of a ranger. I'm gonna turn the text, this, like the text thing, to higher. <laughs> Andra Pansage. Okay, good thing I have Zoe out on the front. So we're gonna be tearing through this shit. I wonder how DJ's doing. He, he's still in that daycare. We'll get we'll get him out for, for the fifth gem. Don't worry. But he's, he's just gonna be chilling there for a while. He probably has a lot of XP by now, because like every step that you take gives XP to whatever Pokemon you have in there. So what I'm guessing, like because I run around to get Autonos to spawn for training purposes. So I'm guessing he's like pretty damn good now. He's safe in there at least. You and your Pokemon make a great team. 
Yeah, I know, right? Zoe is such a good girl. Oh. Zoe's evolving. Yes! Finally! Wow, I get one of these on camera. I'm so sorry. I'm just. I didn't get Tepix or a herd ears on screen. I don't remember it being this slow. There we go. Tranquil! Thank you. What a pretty bird. Yo, we gotta. Should we gotta check the stats? Yeah, yeah, give me the name berry. I, I got. I'm gonna look at Zoe thing. Hold on. Any things you can't do alone. There's always someone. Yep, yeah, yep. Isn't that great? Absolutely. Um, I want to see Zoe's thing real quick. I want to see her stats. Ooh, good. Pretty good still. I don't remember what her stats were before, so. Sorry! Oh, there's another two plasma grunts. Alright, I hate to do this to you, Zoe, but we're actually going to put Trent in the front for a little bit. I'm so sorry. Are you fucking- I can't catch a break around here. And I put a water type out in front? I am so stupid. Trent is gonna get ass kicked. Is Trent fast? Trent's pretty fast right now. He can't. Oh, thank god. <laughs> we would have been screwed. I believe this one either has a Pampor or a Panseer, so let's hope it's Panseer. bitch popped out of a bush scared me probably gave me a, like a panic attack like because we're trying to chase team plasma right now and she's like relax all right just breathe in and out okay now let's let now let's fight <laughs> we do have rounds so i guess the pan core situation should be fine I don't think rock, uh, not rock. I don't think mud shot would do a lot. Maybe. No, we'll try it. We'll try it. We'll see. Yeah, let's do it. At least we can slow him down. Lick. Go lick. Go lick. Try two times for that. <laughs> Drop speed? Hell yeah. Another one. Oh, um, so yesterday was the 45th. Yesterday was the 5th of April. Sorry. <laughs> that was a bad way of saying it. But, um, the Mario movie came out yesterday for me. And I loved it. It was so good. The amount of references I got to see and everything, like just seeing the background and seeing like just right in front of you, you know? The, the theater that I went to was going crazy when they saw like Diddy Kong, um, his sister, oh, I forgot her name, I'm so sorry. And then we saw Chunky, Chunky Kong there as well. Um, oh! Anyway, the theater was going crazy. And, um, Jack Black did such a good job playing Bowser. It was so good. Like, if you didn't tell me Jack Black was playing Bowser, I probably would have had no idea. Chris Pratt actually did a good job playing Mario. I saw they removed a lot of the lines from the tra- like, what was shown in the trailers to what the final product was. Cause like, at the beginning when he gets shot out of the pipes, he's like, what is this place? before he goes to try to touch a mushroom. But he doesn't say that in the movie. And then same thing when he's about to beat up Donkey Kong, he goes, all right, let's go. He doesn't say that either. So I guess they listened to critiques and just like kept them fucking silent. There's a lot of Mamma Mia's. <laughs> but it was, it was so cool just seeing them in like their, like the, the bros in, in Brooklyn. 
and then going into the Mushroom Kingdom and everything and on this rescue mission and also trying to not get beaten by Bowser and everything. It was so good! Thanks. You almost killed my Pokemon. I was talking about how good the Super Mario movie was. Oh, and there was a thing at the end. We stayed past credits. And we, like, if you stay past the initial credits where they show, like, all the big actors with their fucking, um, like, whatever character that they did and whatnot with their colors and everything, you got, like, uh, <laughs> Bowser sing, like, singing on the piano about how much he loves Peach. And then if you stay past the initial, like, the actual credits, you get a little, like, s like sneak peek that hopefully, oh, oh, that hopefully will have a sequel, because it showed at, like, at the sewers in Brooklyn that there was a Yoshi egg, and it zoomed in, and it cracked. So I'm really hoping that we get a sequel. Wait, what? <laughs> Run away. Yep. Okay. I I cannot wait. I saw it with my boy. I made him like go. <laughs> I really wanted to see it. And if he like, I was like, I need you to be at the movie theater at eight. All right. I'm not going to wait. <laughs> if you ain't there, I'm gonna go in by myself. <laughs> but he did show up. We we got in, and I was like, I, I, we get we got our tickets scanned. And then I was like, oh, you want to get anything from the concessions? And it was like backed up. And he's like, no, no, I'm good. <laughs> So there was a lot of children, like, talking throughout the entire movie. And a lot of people were clapping and going ape shit. <laughs> and I have to see this movie a couple more times, because I promised Dakota we'll go see it. And then I promised Brandon we'll go see it. And then I promised Florence that we'll go see it. And then I, I kind of want to convince Kenzie during my, re during my recording later on today uh, if, <laughs> if I can, like, drive all the way out to where she lives so we can watch the Mario movie. <laughs> I'll, I'll probably- I'll try. I- I would not mind seeing that movie again. Alright, there were so many easter eggs that I probably missed, and I love the little details of everything. I forgot who played Toad, but they did a good job. Uh, Seth Rogen did good as Donkey Kong. I don't know who played Crank- like his- like his father, but they did pretty good. I like- cause like- I love how monkeys use like their feet as hands sometimes also, because I guess that's the way monkeys are structured. So like during the movie while he's like fixing his glasses and eat banana, he's like using his feet to like do like that villain thing where they like massage their beard. <laughs> it, was, it was really funny just to see that. I'm scared. I'm frightened. He just started using Brian. Okay. Okay, one more. I can't wait to wait, watch it like so many different times. Which, um, after reviewing everything in my head about what happened in the movie, I just realized that, like, um, at the beginning when they showed the Mario Brothers, um, commercial, um, I believe the actual dude that plays Mario ended doing the, the Mario voice in the commercial. Because it definitely didn't sound like Chris Pratt. <laughs> Which I'm just saying. Why didn't they just have him do Mario voice? You know, he's been doing that for like 30 years, playing Mario. I'm just saying. I don't know why they couldn't give him a little extra money for him to do the voice of Mario for the movie. I'm just, I'm just saying. Uh, I just saw some people making jokes. I'm like, oh, right, the movie was a success. 
Now we gotta uh, make some more movies and like use actors that don't even like resemble the characters at all. All right, what do you got? Was well, Zelda? All right, who are we gonna have playing Ganondorf? And this, this dude was like, "Yo, I got the perfect actor, Danny DeVito." <laughs> he was like, "You're a genius. You're getting promoted." <laughs> Actually, a, a Legend of Zelda game, like a Legend of Zelda movie, would actually sound pretty good. Even though the, the games are kind of long, so maybe it'll be like one of those um, like Hunger Game scenarios where it's like, like it's three. No, it's like Avatar, where you have to like sit down for three hours to watch Legend of Zelda. I, I wouldn't mind doing that. I'm not really up to my lore in Legend of Zelda. I watched Lucajin play Ocarina of Time, and then I watched the Game Grumps play Wind Waker, and I watched Hug Conroy play Wind Waker, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> I don't got any other knowledge. <laughs> so, but I, I wouldn't mind sitting through there watching like like when I watched um, One Piece film Ren I had never watched a single piece of One Piece in my entire life I just went because my boy was super excited to see the movie and so it was his friends and I'm like yeah I'll just watch the movie with you guys I'll be there for support for my boy because he likes it so why not go support it you know and then I watched it I was so confused because there were so many characters that they like brought in from other arcs to be part of this movie and <laughs> I like was trying to like because like well in the movie theater it was in subtitle like it was in Japanese with English subtitles so I'm trying to read the bottom and then also like focus on what the hell's happening and like my, my boy absolutely loved it and like I liked the movie even though I had no idea what was going on and then I thought about it more and I'm like I should probably start watching One Piece like this that was actually really good and then I started and now I'm at like 458 I'm like halfway through Marine Ford I think where I'm at right now uh, Luffy just activated his hockey and just screamed and every all the Marines kind of fainted Except for like the big shots and everything that can handle that kind of power. And then he started rushing towards Ace. And then Wiper's like, oh, that fucking brat. And then that, the episode ended. <laughs> so that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> Don't, I'm, I'm loving Marine Ford. My boy was hyping up this arc for so goddamn long that now that I'm watching it, I'm actually loving it. <laughs> and also, Buggy's commentary throughout the entire arc is so good. Oh, yeah, and he gets there. It, it was so funny to watch. And I was talking to my boy, like, how Buggy is, like, irritating throughout the fight, where he just, like, he stole, like, a transponder snail that does video feed. And he stole it so people could, like, just see him and be like, that he's, like, a feared pirate, and everyone that's, <laughs> that was watching the screen is like, go back to the execution! <laughs> what is this shit? <laughs> so I was complaining to my boy that I'm like, I want to... I want to see the fight. I want to see this shit. He's like, just let you know, even though Buggy looks stupid right now, he's actually very big brain. I'm like, how the fuck is this guy big brain? Every like decision that he's made has like the only because the only reason it succeeded is because something just happens to happen. You know, like for example, for uh, Annie's lobby when they were trying to get past that uh, poison wall. He gave up, and he was like, oh, let's just go piss. And then he came back, and the wall was gone. Everyone praised him. He didn't do anything. It was Blackbeard that did <laughs> I don't know. And then Luffy could have made, like, a, like, had an, a, like, probably gotten to his brother in time d during Eddie's lobby if Buggy didn't break out at that exact same time. And maybe Bon Clay would still be alive. I don't know if he actually is dead. I'm guessing yes, because he was- he left himself behind to open up the gates. And like, ugh, that Venom dude was like, any last words before I fucking kill you? And then he- and then Bonkai squared the fight and we haven't seen him at all. So I'm guessing he is dead. <laughs> and I'm sad, 
because Bon Clay was so funny during Alabasta and during that arc, and now I don't see him anymore. If he's if he lives, I, I, that'd be pretty cool, but I doubt it. Actually, it's pretty cool. But... That'd be pretty cool if he lives. I need to get through this, because I need to challenge a guy and end it. Hi, Venipede. How are you? What else have I seen recently that I always like to talk about? Oh, I had this, um, this pilot show up on my homepage on YouTube, and it was for Lack of Daisies. And I watched it, and it was so good. And apparently the guy that does like the main uh, male lead in the show, same dude who did same dude who did the pilot for Angel Dust, and also the same dude who's doing the the, the voice of N in Murder Drones. This guy follows me everywhere. <laughs> I pursue her. Uh ha ha, a kid like you beat some of us? That can't be helped, but I'll take you on now. So it was just crazy that this dude it plays has played N, um, Angel Dust, and now I can't remember the dude's name from Lack of Daisy. It's, it's like the gray cat. I think it's a cat. Yeah, it's a cat. So, I'm very impressed. That was, it was a really good pilot. I like how it takes place during the, the ninth like during the 1900s where like alcohol is now illegal so they're trying to smuggle it in and whatnot it's a real good show and i highly recommend if you haven't seen it yet fucking do it's been in development for a while and the full pilot is now out so pretty cool oh, yeah. I hate it when they use the tech. Good, I'm glad it failed. Oh, also, this... I don't think my boy watches these. No one watches my Nuzlocke stuff, so I'm, I'll probably gonna say it here. I, my boy's birthday is at the end of this month, and I, I, I was scrolling through TikTok, Watch your stuff, and this dude came up that I've seen a couple times. He's like, Dude, this is not a drill. The Pokemon Center is now live with uh, the sitting plushies of, of the Gen 5 Pokemon. So, if there's like a weird abstract one that you like from there, grab it now. And I looked, they had a fucking sand dial, and sand dial is my boy's favorite. So, I got one of those, and then I looked further, and they had a little get one. So, I, I grabbed that one as well, and I might go back and get Pedagal. So that way I can, when I become Lilligan for conventions, I can carry it around like my little child. So I can be like, don't talk to me or my son ever again. <laughs> but instead it would be arriving in five to nine business days. So I'm hoping, well, I, I should have no problem because it's his birthday is in like 19 days. <laughs> so I, I got him that, I gotta get him a card. I, I have a commission coming in, and then I have to find one more thing. I'm probably trying to find something technology related. I've given him a lot of technology over the course of our, our relationship. I've given him a monitor. Um, I got one of those like light up keyboard mats he was wanting from Dave and Buster, so I used my tickets to get it for him. Um, I got him uh, a mic. His most recent mic, his most recent pair of headphones. I got him a Nintendo Switch. I got him a couple games, which I feel like I shouldn't get him any games because he hasn't finished any of the games yet. Oh, here's the skull, by the way. <laughs> I don't want to overwhelm him with games that he needs to finish, especially like right now, because I believe final exams will be here soon for him. Oh yeah, there's plot happening. Maybe I should talk like about this in a second. <laughs> How are you holding up, fellow subject of our king? Grammar the Seven Sages. I'm mortified that this skull, which we went so much trouble to obtain, it was stolen from us so easily. 
A sun point. We can afford to abandon the Dragon School. According to the results of our research, it is not the legendary Pokemon for which Team Plasma is looking. It is completely unrelated. But we will not allow anyone to disrupt our plans and get away with it. We will fix it so you will never interfere with us again. <laughs> Pulls out a Glock. <laughs> oh, sweet. The bug Pokemon were getting all worked up, so I came. So I here I came, and what do I spy with my little eye? What's this important looking guy? What are you helping? Are you here to help your friends who I defeated? Chris Berg. The others didn't have anything. And who are you supposed to be? Is this guy the big boss? I am one of the seven sages of Team Plasma. Against this, the other seven sages will liberate Pokemon with words alone. The remainder... Yeah, the remainder of the seven sages have ordered their conference to take Pokemon with full force. But the odds are a little against us now. To you, the bug type user Berg and the normal type user Lenora, I say, know your enemies, know yourself, and you need not fear the results of the hundred battles. This time, we shall retreat quietly. To ensure the liberation of Pokemon, we will steal Pokemon from trainers. Even though you are gym leaders, we will not tolerate any further abstraction from you. Obstruction, sorry. In any case, we will settle this one day. I come looking. F I hope you're looking forward to that time as much as I. Man, for writing a script, I am bad at reading. <laughs> They're a speedy bunch. What are you planning to do, Bird? Are you going to change them? Hmm. We got back to the stolen school, and if we cornered them, there's no telling what they might do. I think I'd be heading back, Lenore. Well, now, now. I'll be waiting to sh for your challenge at Castilia City Gym. Yes, indeed. I'm certainly looking forward to it. Alright, can I have... Chris, you're holding the dragon skull. You worked so hard to get back, right? Yeah, you can take it back. I don't want it. Chris, thank you so much. With a kind trainer like you taking care of them, the Pokemon with you must be happy. You're the token of my gratitude. Please keep, please use it carefully. If we had a Muna, I could use it, but no. I don't got a Muna. I got Sadness instead. There's a Moonstone. Some Pokemon evolved with using this stone. Now I must take the Dragon Skull back to the museum. See you. Take care of yourself. Bye! All right. Leave the miracle seeds right here, right? Yep. So once we get DJ back in the party, we'll make sure you got good moves, and then we'll put this on him for clay. At least we find another grass type be up there before him. All right. Let me end it right here. Alrighty, we got through Pinwheel Forest. We each challenged all the Team Plasma leaders. And we got back to Dragon School. So, in the next one, we'll head across this bridge, head to Castilia City, and um, I guess see what the world has to offer us. There's so many battles to do in the city. We gotta get our new Pokemon from Route 4. Hopefully it's either something something good. Um, Scraggy, Darmanitan, and Sandile are pretty good options. I hope for Sandile. That way I can uh, beat the Electro-type gym next one. So, yeah. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.